Estate World 2011. The second annual global convention for real estate visionaries was held in New Delhi recently. It was a well-attended affair with property brokers and developers coming together on a common platform to analyze the scope and growth in the realty sector, especially in North India. The convention was organized by Franchise India Holdings Limited in association with LandlordIndia.com and KPMG as the knowledge partner for the conference. The conference succeeded in helping professionals to learn how standards can be raised in the real estate services, along with showcasing products, strategies, personalities and leading companies that comprise the Indian real estate marketplace. Real estate today is largely governed by the broker community, which is a micro SME, and franchising is by far the largest contributor in the change which is coming in the micro SMEs, which is the brokers. So there is a lot, lot of broker, uh, brokers who are getting into franchising and bringing in that best practices, which we are promoting through franchising. Mr. Maria also shed light on the key challenges and opportunities in his opinion that the Indian real estate industry is coping with at present. The country's largest B2B initiative for the real estate sector witnessed a diverse lineup. Architects, urban planners, designers, government officials and brokers assembled to explore the best practices and competitive strategies to tackle issues that are of major concern to the sector at large. The real estate market in the country is unique and has seen many trends and practices come and go. The event also took an in-depth look at the evolution of this market and the key players who have brought about a forward movement in the royalty space. The highlight of Estate World 2011 was a bouquet of presentations, panel discussions and interactive sessions which were organized with the objective of emphasizing on understanding how real people see real estate. Good evening. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the prestigious Estate World Awards 2011. First award this evening goes to the most innovative broker of the year for Haryana, Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir. Subhash Mangat and Company. Congratulations. Our next award is for the most innovative broker of the year for Delhi and NCR and it goes to Bunyad. Our next award is for Emerging Innovative Broker of the Year for Delhi and NCR and it goes to Madhyam Estate Linkers Private Limited. Setting the perfect stage for showcasing novel and pioneering initiatives in the real estate sector, the second annual Real Estate Awards 2011 were also organized later in the evening. My personal opinion is that the development authorities should move out gradually because of two reasons. One is that we don't have so many professionals who can manage this sector well. Second is that in last decade or so, so many very good developers have come in real estate development. What is today? is entirely different. Today, the consumer, the customer has become very demanding. He, through information technology and networking, he knows everything. So please don't try to play around things, you know, which are not truthful and which are not clear. Ladies and gentlemen, the first category is Retail Project of the Year, North India. And the winner is Select City Walk, Select Infrastructure, Private Limited. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Corporate Broker of the Year, North India. And the award goes to Remarks India. Put it in their words, nobody in the world sells more real estate than Remax. The best real estate consultant of the year 
North India. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the best real estate consultant of the year, North India, goes to Jones Long Lassalle. Ladies and gentlemen, the company is India's premier and the largest professional services firm specializing in real estate. With an extensive geographic footprint across 11 cities and staff strength of over 5,400. Can we hear another round of applause once again for the winner of the best real estate consultant of the year, North India? Once again, may I request all the winners, along with their trophies, please step on stage for a group photograph. Problem actually inspired him to conceptualize a vision for his business, and he's actually living, uh, perhaps uh, even dreaming about that business day in and day out. So first stage is of course of uh, conceptualization. Then there is this tough phase of survival because it's very easy to conceptualize at times, but you know when it comes to actually implementing it, the sheer survival, particularly in the kind of conditions that we have, could be quite daunting. The third phase, as you survive, you start create, creating a following for yourself. I am coming from the black and white part of the world. What you are saying that Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Bangalore, all the colorful world, only 20 percent. Remaining 80 percent of the world, untouched by policy makers, even by God, even till now. So there is, you can see the vast opportunities are there in the black and white world. In the colorful world, only competition and Aggressiveness is reminds. If you want to succeed in the colorful world, you have to strain yourself more, end up with blood pressure, sugar, everything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now proceed to the exciting bit of the evening. Yes, it's the awards presentation. And to do the honors in the first category, may I please invite on stage Mr. and Mrs. R.K. Agarwal, Chairman of the crew. The first category is Commercial Developer of the Year, West India. And the winner is Kanakia Blue. So, residential, commercial, and retail ventures successfully developed, developed another 6 million square feet under construction. Kanakia spaces have come a long way in 25 years. The next category is Best Budget Housing Developer of the Year, West India. And the winner is GHP. And residential complex best in Pawai and Sakinaka, GHP is the winner for the best budget housing developer of the year, West India. Best real estate consultant of the year, West India. And the winner is, let's hear it with a huge round of applause for Knight Frank. Knight Frank, largest privately owned property consultancy in the world has strong local presence in established and emerging markets around the world. Congratulations once again to all the winners and thank you Ms. Ritu, thank you Mr. Gaurav for doing the honours in this category. Well ladies and gentlemen, while we do come to the end of this award ceremony, may I also request all the winners to please come on stage for a group photograph for a wonderful evening.